Welcome. Today we've got the Petroselli Reproduction Remington Rolling Block for product review. And as we look at the rifle, it's got a nice case colored hardened butt plate. And the uh, receiver is case color hardened. It's nice. It's got a nice walnut stock on it. It's got a 32 inch tapered octagon barrel. The Remington Rolling Block was probably one of the most produced rifles of the time. Uh, they produced lots of rifles for buffalo hunters. They were well liked in the field for buffalo hunters. And also a lot of famous people use them for shooting competitions. And people like uh, George Armstrong Custer. He was a big fan of the Remington Rolling Block. And on uh, June 25th, 1876, uh, he left one on the battlefield there. It's a little big horn. And if somebody could find that rifle today, it would be worth a fortune. We have three ammunitions to try today for product review also. We have the Black Hills ammunition, 405 grain, 45 70s. Uh, it's loaded with smokeless. I also have some 10X ammunition here. It's a 405 grain uh, round. Uh, it's loaded with black powder substitute. And then I also have the uh, Powder Incorporated's uh, black powder round. Uh, all three of these are excellent ammunition. I thought I would try to give a different uh, choice of ammunitions because some people like smokeless, some people like black, some people like sub. So here's a chance to see it all in action. First thing we're going to do on the old Remington rolling block, bring her all the way back, open her up. We got one of our Black Hills ammunition here. We are ready to shoot. We got a dead center hit. Nothing wrong with that ammunition there or that rifle. Well, we knocked the target down. That back gone. And our third round we're going to try with the uh, Black Hills ammunition. We've got a knockdown target down there. And we're going to give it a try. And it knocked her down, no problem. Well, we just shot the Black Hills ammunition. It did a fine job. Now we're going to try here. Well, this here is the 10X ammunition. It's got a fine looking bullet right there. It's got black powder substitute. So we're going to give it a whirl. First one we're going to shoot is a nice target off there to the left. Oh, that's a fine hit there, too. Good ammunition. Not too bad a hit on old Buff out there. And he stood up this time. We did knock him down. Our third shot with the 10X ammunition is going to be on our knockdown target there. I always like knockdown targets. It's fun. And away it went. Well, the uh, 10X ammunition worked excellently. So now what we're going to do is we got the uh, Powder Incorporated. It's Black Dogs, Black Powder ammunition. So we'll give it a whirl. Well. It put it right in there with the other two. Let's see if we can hit our old buffalo. See if it'll stay up. I believe it put it right in there with the other one. Now our third round is going to be on our knockdown target. And away she goes. Now I'm going to take a few rounds here and do a little rapid fire. Kind of like you might have saw at the little bighorn.
And last but not least, Well, here we are. We've shot all three ammunitions, and they all shot accurately. The rifle did an excellent job. No problem with the rifle. So whether you're going to a long-range rifle shoot, you're going to a mid-range shoot, cowboy shoot, or you like to be a vintage hunter, this here will be a good choice, and it will work well. Until next time, we'll see you later.